any process that injures the urethra or underlying corpus spongiosum that heals with scarring can cause urethral stricture. Causes include accidental trauma, iatrogenic trauma, and inflammatory conditions like balanitis, xerotica, obliterans, or secondary to sexually transmitted diseases. Use of metallic stents is another minimally invasive modality for the treatment of urethral strictures. Memocath 044 is thermo-expandable titanium nickel alloy spiral developed for long-term urethral stenting. Contrary to other metallic stents, Memocat stents avoid secondary ingrowth of the connective tissue and does not get covered with urothelium. The Memocat continually expands the urethrotomized area until a new urothelial lining has been furnished from the proximal to the distal end of the stent. Evidence is emerging that the patency of the urethra is maintained even when the stent has been removed after it has been left in situ for a period of nine months to any year. Another major advantage is the ease with which the memocath can be removed or replaced if necessary. Furthermore, this minimally invasive option makes it an attractive alternative to other major reconstructive procedures. This makes it an ideal treatment modality in patients with recurrent urethral stricture where open operation is not an option due to other comorbidity. Today we will demonstrate the exchange of a urethral mammocat. This patient has extensive medical comorbidities and a long recurrent urethral stricture from the bulbourethra to the distal urethra. He also had a meatoplasty in the past. He had two urethral mammocats placed adjacent to each other. However, the distal end of the distal mammocat was protruding and causing discomfort. The procedure is performed under spinal anesthesia with the patient in the lithotomy position. Flexible cystoscopy demonstrates the lack of uroepithelial ingrowth and the urethral patency. It is visible that proximal end of the two stents is at the bulbourethra. As the flexible cystoscope is removed, the junction between the two memocat stents is visible. Cold saline is inserted via urethral catheter to soften the memocat stent. The distal memocat is removed with forceps. It uncoils completely and is removed atraumatically. Flexible cystoscopy demonstrates the healthy underlying dilated urethral epithelium. Image intensifier shows the remaining proximal mammocat. The flexible cystoscope is then marked with two clips to accurately measure the desired length of the distal mammocat. The clips mark the distance between the distal end of the proximal stent and the meatus. The correct size of Mammocat 044 stent is then selected. The Mammocat kit consists of the stent mounted on an introducer. The protective casing is removed with the scalpel provided, cutting the plastic bands away from the tip of the stent. The assembly can be mounted on a standard cystoscope, whereby the inner plastic core is gently pushed out. The cystoscope is secured at the correct length with the proximal tightening ring. In the correct position, the last three windings of the metal stand should just be visible. A feeding tube is attached to the three-way tap 
at the side of the assembly. The stent is positioned under cystoscopic control. Fluoroscopy is used to confirm the position. 60 degree hot water is ready and aspirated into a 50 ml syringe. The hot water is injected through the feeding tube and expansion of the end of the mammocath can be observed under fluoroscopy. The black ring is loosened and the cystoscope is removed against the transparent pusher sheet which leaves the stand detached and in place. The new stand does not protrude from the meatus and the fluoroscopy reveals correct positioning of both stands.